Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's Amy and it's been a while since I've made some videos and I'm just getting over some laryngitis so you'll have to excuse my voice but I wanted to do a video of this journal that I made for a friend before I ship it out tomorrow and um, this I made for Emily at the Blue Linen Cottage on Instagram. She made me a journal not too long ago and we passed things back and forth so I just thought it would be special to make her one as well. So I just want to do a quick flip through and show you. It is made from a quilted pillow sham and it has two signatures and this is the actual sham and then I've added the lace and the ruffles and the quilted part to the edge and then I've stitched this fabric on the outside which is also the inside fabric as well. And then I've done the tie closure with some blue linen that actually came from Emily. So again, my voice is a bit rough, but I gotta do it now because I have to mail it to her. So here we go. So this is the first signature made with a vintage botanical. And inside over here I just have um, a little handmade embellishment with the flower. I'm not gonna pull everything out of every pocket just to save time. But I've added some fabric and some vintage trim to strengthen the edge of that paper because it's not super thick. So then I have some eco dyed pages and these are some beautiful um, botanical envelopes and her birthday is in September so I added that in there and more vintage botanicals some printed vellum with the botanical lots of stitching in here and tea stain pages everything is vintage mostly vintage anyway and um, handmade and very cottagey so this is a tab and I just embellish that and this is some vintage wallpaper a journal card a little booklet this is that very cool um, grade ledger school grade ledger for kindergarten that I recently found so I'm just gonna flip through this and you can see um, this is a flip out with an envelope and some vintage images. Lots of writing space, lots of blues, here's a little tag, and this is a booklet with some really old papers. Little collage there, and this also comes from that grade book little flip out with some fabric and inside is a vintage piece of ribbon little booklet I'm also in the process of making two journals that will be similar to this this is one of my uh, vintage botanical tea stain booklets similar to this but not exactly like this because this one's made for her but I am going to be making two that will be similar and those will go in my Etsy shop. A bit of dried flowers down here with some washi tape. I'm also not talking a whole lot because my voice is kind of wearing out as I go. Some handmade paper with stitching. This is a beautiful vintage wallpaper. The decorated envelope and some decoupage napkin. Old, old um, physics book. I think that that's what that one was. This is a bag that I found and it's such a soft, beautiful floral pattern. So I just cut the bag up and used that. This is a little vintage postcard. So different colors of stitching, um, different pages, lots of room to write, fabric pocket with a little um, belly band, I guess you'd call that. And on the back is a postcard with stitching and inside is a um, decoupaged, or I'm sorry, collaged flashcard. This is an envelope that I made from a vintage botanical. Inside I've just added some fun things. And it created a pocket over here. And I put that pretty card in there with the envelope. Little um, journal cards and things like that. And here's the center. Then we have some printed images 
little botanicals. This is a really chunky journal. Really chunky, so I have to kind of push it to hold it open. This is an old library card that I have embellished and just some journaling paper stationery. Some trims and vintage ribbons added. A little booklet, I don't know if you can see that, made out of wallpaper. And a pocket made from this lacy fabric, which was actually a scarf that I tore apart. Here's a little image from a book that I photo album, one of those vintage type floral photo albums, and I cut that out, stitched it with some handmade paper. And then more of that physics book, the decoupage on the back of that wallpaper. I love that wallpaper. It's one of my favorite ones that I've ever found. Handmade paper. And there's the last signature. And in the back, I just have a little booklet made um, from wallpaper. And this is the inner fabric. And this, the pockets I actually made from a, um, a long table runner. I just thought those went so well. So this is the journal. I have not given it a name. I just know it's for her. So I wanted to share that with you. And like I said, I will be making two that are similar to this. And I'll let you know when they're done. Bye.